Whose woods are these? I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it's queer to stop without a farmhouse near between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. Those are words from Robert Frost. <laughs> but I use a poem today. I haven't used a poem in a while. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Well, the poem doesn't exactly reflect the painting. But the painting is wintry and the painting is relatively easy to do if you're watching this video to, to kind of see how at least one person might accomplish this kind of a picture. And um, I used all blue, but not all one shade of blue. I used light blue and dark blue. And, and I did use a little yellow, you see in the windows of the house, just a tiny, just a tiny hint. And I did it with watercolor and I painted uh, some gouache later on, little hints of white. Most of the white on this card is the card itself still peeking through. The back is not as painted as I normally do, but. And this is a card that will be donated to a church in my community that I go to, that Robin and I go to, Robin and Robin's mother and I go to. Robin's mom is an amazing lady. She's 91 years old and she's just incredible. So um, we go to that church and it's a really sweet congregation. And I have had, I have had my share of disappointments with churches. Yeah, can I talk about, no, I won't talk about it too much. I'll just say yes. I have had my share of disappoint, disappointments with churches, with clergy. Uh, you know, I was kind of actually turned off to the whole idea of going to church not to believing in God. I, I was always very strong with that. But if you don't mind, I talk to, not religion, really just my relationship with, with the church. But it could be any group. It could be, it could be, you know, a school. It could be a club. Um, in this case, it's a church. And the pastor and his wife are very nice and super nice and they have an assistant pastor who's very new and he seems like just the most honest and genuine guy i don't know maybe i'm old and just just want to believe the pollyanna viewpoint of everything but i i'm telling you i've if i've been around the block a few times i'm almost 70 and yeah i've i've had my share of um disappointments and in the church but this church I, i'm sorry i'm carrying on too much but this church it's uh saint john lutheran i actually started going there because robin goes there that's the honest truth i retired from radio and so does she but even when she wasn't retired she went to that church she's gone to that church for years and well now i have too for five years i guess but she's gone for decades how about that and um, so, you know, when I started going with Robin, I just, I just went just to be there. And it turns out that they're sweet people. They're genuine people. They, they truly do raise money and give it away to the poor. I've been, I've been there to help with, with packaging of things for the hurricane victims and, and things like that. So anyway, what does that have to do with art? Come on, Papa, get to the point. Show us how you painted the picture. <laughs> but seriously, um, the, the connection between what I'm talking about with the church and with the art is that at one point I realized that I could contribute to them with my art because I've been an artist and an illustrator and I emphasize illustrator more than artist. 
but um, I illustrated a, a, a book that the pastor and his wife wrote, and I've contributed artwork for different things that they do, and and that's what I'm doing here. So they are having an auction at the end of November, November 23rd, and the auction will raise money for um, a youth gathering. And now I think it's in New Orleans. If you heard me say Texas, that's because I thought it. I thought they were going to Texas. See, I don't pay attention, I guess. But anyway, so I wanted to do something. So I decided <clears throat> I had already started gathering a collection of cards that I was painting. I was just giving cards away to people at, you know, not at random really, but like if somebody let me know that there was somebody who maybe could get a little joy out of a card. And they're not all winter cards, by the way. <laughs> um, so I had a bunch of them already that I hadn't given away. And I thought rather than try to sell them, I have sold a few actually, but mostly now I'm just selling prints of the cards, but the originals are more in demand. I mean, everybody wants the originals. So if you're trying to sell them, I think you'll be able to sell them. In fact, after I'm done with the 200 cards that I'm creating, I think I'm gonna go back to selling cards and uh and then just and then we have money and we can if hey if we can donate money people love when you donate money when you donate cards they have to work they have to do an auction <laughs> it's right i'm giving them a job i'm giving them a risk but not really i mean there's 200 cards and there are so many people who've read me and asked me if they could have the card and i have to write back and say no because i'm donating it to an auction at the church and if you happen to be in the area, you could show up at the auction. They have, I just found out, what is today, Monday? I just found out yesterday in church that they're serving food at the auction. Who knew? So they're doing that. So anyway, if you're interested, the church is called St. John Lutheran in Ocala, Florida. It's also a school, by the way. It's on a road called Lake Weir Avenue. The auction is November 23rd at 6 p.m. And there will be other artists, so I'm not the only artist. Robin is also contributing art. Uh, several artists will have art on display there and everything is being auctioned off. And my contribution is 200 cards. This is one of them. So I went long enough on this intro. So let me go now to the other video, the first video I made, which is coming up right now. I'll show you how I made this, okay? Here we go. A simple winter landscape, I guess. I'll do some more winter cards before I'm done with the winter theme. But I'm getting close to the 200 goal. I'll have 200 pretty soon, I don't know. I haven't counted them in a few days. So, anyway, how you guys doing? I'm just gonna get this a little slightly wet today, not super wet. Just bring some water down on the paper. Kind of a kind of a hazy background. Hey, you know what I heard yesterday? <clears throat> I heard that a volcano erupted in Mexico. And the ash from the volcano was coming over Florida. And it didn't present any real problem but it did give us this amazing sunset yesterday <laughs> that's what they say well i did see the sunset and it was amazing but i wouldn't have known that it was because of ash in the sky from from a distant volcano i thought that was outstanding to know it was a cool it was a cool little factoid i guess you would say right so just get some different shades of blue in here. Just make a sky.
Let's make some blue. Some blue on blue. Blue on blue. is interesting, right?
house in the distance. working it I guess. I'm not sure what I'm doing here but I'm just trying to create this illusion another I say I had this similar one the other day and 
was looking at it and I had some ideas on how to do it in a different way. I don't know that I'm really getting successful at that point. Good. That looks so right, I guess. The backdrop. Why well, I didn't even use this one. I was holding it in my hand the whole time. I didn't even use it. All right, let's get some uh, some bright orange colors into the tiny little windows over there. Let's get some. I don't know which yellow. I guess. Let's get some nice yellow. Put it into those windows. <coughs> I'll have to make the, the house darker, I think.
Alright, I think I'm done. Not a whole lot on the back this time. Let's spread it out a little bit. Yeah, it's almost a completely white back now. The back of the card. Alright, let me let that dry and I'll be right back. Alright, I don't think I'm ready to fold it yet because I see an opportunity to maybe make some very dreamy looking trees in here. Maybe I just didn't realize what I was doing when I was doing them, so I'm going to try to just make some just white clumps of, of like the sides of the, the branches that are covered with snow maybe. I don't know exactly. Kind of use the the gouache, almost like acrylic. Just even back here, maybe. Yeah, I kind of like that look. Just little hints of it, you know. This is helping. This is helping make a better composition. I think. Just little hints. Little hints of white. If you put it white, it's a little bit too stark. There.
Okay, now I think I'm done. <clears throat> I think getting those little white touches helped. I don't know, just, just helped. I don't know in what way. All right, let me fold this over, make it a card, and then we will call it done. And we will add it to the collection. I'm getting closer and closer to my goal of having 200 cards to donate to the auction for the church. All right, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.